Good morning. Today is Wednesday of the third week in Ordinary Time. Today I would like to talk about three uh, feasts of the Catholic Church which we're celebrating beginning today and running through this next Friday. And today's feast uh, is the feast of St. Francis de Sales. And again, I'm sure uh, you are, are quite familiar with this great bishop and doctor of the church. And he uh, was a bishop in Switzerland in uh, the, uh, at the height, really, of the Protestant uh, Reformation and uh, was quite instrumental in bringing back to the Catholic faith uh, numbers of uh, lapsed Catholics or those who had uh, abjured the faith and gone over to Protestantism and he did it with uh, great charity but tremendous insight into how to live one's daily life of faith. His great work is called The Introduction to the Devout Life and I, if you have not read it, I would suggest you do. Uh, it's just as pertinent to you and to me today in the 21st century as it was in the 17th century when he wrote it. And it's a, a, a tremendously helpful uh, book uh, which is really a compilation of letters which he wrote uh, mainly to one uh, Catholic lady who was seeking his spiritual advice and spiritual direction, but it includes letters to others as well with who would contact him and ask for advice about how to live the Catholic faith, especially uh, living amongst so many Protestants who hated the church, hated the faith, and were working actively to undermine the Catholic church. But it's a good, uh, as he titles it, the introduction to the devout life, it's a good practical way of how do I live my Catholic faith, whether I'm a priest, whether I'm a lawyer, whether I'm a doctor, whether I'm uh, a blacksmith, whatever my job is, my vocation in life, uh, he said these are opportunities for grace and to increase one's and strengthen one's Catholic faith. And so today's feast of St. Francis de Sales is quite important uh, in uh, the life of the church. It's an obligatory memorial. Uh, in other words, the Mass of today uh, is to be the Mass honoring uh, St. Francis de Sales and mem remembering his tremendous uh, good example and contribution uh, to the Universal Church. Tomorrow, January 25th, is that famous feast uh, of the conversion of St. Paul. And we're all familiar with St. Paul's conversion on uh, being knocked from his horse by uh, our Lord on his way to Damascus uh, to arrest and to bring back to Jerusalem Christians uh, to be persecuted. And uh, if you have the opportunity, uh, do attend Holy Mass tomorrow because the readings will certainly draw our attention to uh, not so much the great St. Paul, but to how the Lord intervenes in everyone's lives for the good and for the better. And we can see how St. Paul responded uh, to the Lord. Uh, he's uh, considered, uh, after St. Peter, the next great apostle and certainly the first great missionary uh, apostle and saint in the church. And then the day after tomorrow, is the feast of the two closest companions and collaborators with St. Paul, St. Timothy and St. Titus. Uh, there are epistles uh, written by St. Paul to both of them, included in the New Testament scriptures uh, that uh, we have available to us and which are read uh, throughout the year 
uh, at Mass. But uh, just to keep in mind that sa both St. Timothy and St. Titus uh, were converts of St. Paul himself, and they were his closest companions and collaborators in the establishing of the various Christian communities uh, that St. Paul had the opportunity to establish and to kind of get going and get it on a sound footing, uh, especially uh, the Christian community in Corinth uh, and especially the Christian community on the island of Crete. Uh, St. Titus was sent by St. Paul uh, to straighten out difficulties there on Crete and then he remained there uh, as the uh, the bishop of the, the Christian community of Crete. St. Timothy uh, accompanied St. Paul uh, on his missionary journeys and Paul would send him uh, with uh, instructions to the various churches that he had established and uh, in order to exhort them to greater faith, to correct certain uh, errors that may have crept in uh, to the Christian communities. But these two great saints, both bishops, both martyrs, uh, again, uh, are very closely associated uh, with St. Paul himself. And so these three days beginning today and going through Friday are extremely important feasts uh, for the church for us today as they, they have been for the church in the past because they hold up for our uh, edification uh, saints who uh, did the will of God in sometimes great difficulties and very difficult situations and yet kept the faith and advanced the faith and strengthened the faith of so many others with whom uh, they came in contact. And so as we continue to advance toward the uh, Lenten season, beginning with Ash Wednesday in a few weeks, may you continue to grow in, in your faith and in the living of the faith uh, as St. Francis de Sales so beautifully teaches us is so possible for all of us.